my life in, in during my childhood and actually my academic life in the, in the law school. And on the other hand, um, the political change we're having in our country, all those things, you know, were in a way motivating for me uh, to try to contribute to something uh, for uh, the fight, uh, for the struggle, to, to see some kind of progress in terms of uh, democracy and human rights protection. So I decided to, uh, to run for parliament in 2000. I was an independent candidate. But on the other hand, you know, the election was not free and competitive. Even most of the political parties were boycotting uh, the, the election for uh, two reasons. One, they, they, they were weakened by, uh, you know, uh, successive attacks and intimidation they, uh, they, they were subject to. And, uh, you know, at the same time, they knew if uh, they, um, they came out as a strong opponent to the governing party, you know, things may not, uh, may not be favorable to, to show or to, uh, to gear towards uh, some kind of achievement. So that was the environment I, I, uh, I was running in. But for me, as um, a young lady, I was an age of 26. It, it was an exciting experience. It gave me a chance to, um, to look into uh, the experience of, you know, the regular people, you know, in our community. And um, to, to hear to different people how they view our politics and uh, how they view uh, being uh, an opposition, being a supporter of a uh, governing party, how they view becoming a dissident or be viewing or, you know, airing a dissenting opinion. So that was a very good experience for me. And uh, uh, that was uh, the thing, you know, I, I could uh, consider as an achievement from that process. After I ran as an independent candidate, I, I tried to, uh, you know, research out about the views and the articulation of the opposition parties. Obviously, you know, they were the voice for uh, the cause of democracy. And uh, of course, uh, they, contribute, they contributed a lot, you know, uh, in keeping the voice alive. But, you know, I was not sure they, they were having, you know, an internal democracy within their parties. And I was not sure they were, they were not part of, they were not uh, part of the undemocratic political culture. In, in, in a way, it's part of our political culture, which is giving us a hard time, both in the, in the governing party and in the, polit in the opposition. So I was reluctant whether I should join the political parties or not. You know, I was not able to make sure people who were coming at the forefront in the opposition parties are really uh, uh, embracing those ideals and really committed to implement those ideals in, you know, even in their day-to-day -day political activities. So I was hesitant in a way. I was uh, had uh, reservations uh, with regards to the opposition as well. But in 2005, uh, when CUD, Coalition for Unity and Democracy, uh, was set up, you know, I saw uh, interesting developments, you know, very prominent uh, academic leaders who, who were able to articulate those, those ideas of freedom and democracy were joining the, the party. And, you know, the dynamics was changed in a way, you know. So, you know, that, that, that made me very interested. And, uh, uh, you know, and not only about the parties, the whole political process uh, was you know, undergoing some kind of change. You know, when even the, the, the people from the, the governing party accepted now on th that they were opening up the, the political space so that they can have a better uh, international image. But in a way, uh, it, seemed, it seemed like, you know, it, it was... Um, it was meant uh, to, to, to see uh, a real change. So the, even the governing party was opening up the space and, you know, 
it was showing unprecedented practices in terms of you know, allowing the, the opposition to have uh, access to media and allowing the, the free press to, uh, you know, uh, have more more uh, uh, space in, in terms of criticizing the government, in terms of expressing different political views and, you know, issues. So all those t- t- things together, I thought that was the right time to, uh, to commit oneself and to see Uh, to try to see uh, some kind of progress in terms of uh, democratic development.